Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. L. Bronin here again, and today we're going to be quickly going over Inasa in My Hero 1 Justice 2 Remix Edition. And just as I predicted, this character is not too different to how he plays in the regular version, because this character is already ridiculous. Inasa is crazy, he can combo up with anything, he has so many combo extensions with his tornado, his ground tornado, his, like, uh, whatever that frisbee thingy is. Like his boomerang, and then like this sucking thing. Like he already has tons of combo ability, and there wasn't too much they could change with this. So basically, all that's really different is that he's got slightly different combo parts, and he just does a bit more damage if that was possible. So um, I guess the two main changes you could say are that he can now cancel his yellow attack into his quirk two, and that does a lot of damage. Also, his quirk two does so much damage. Why does that? 5,000 damage for a single projectile, it was kind of crazy. And also his air attack string actually bounces the opponent, so now you can get like some slightly different combos like this way, like if you want to do something like that. And, you know, get something going that way. He can just do it slightly different. So, putting all of that together, he can get combos that look something like this. And you go into the yellow attack, into the quirk 2, jump into the air, do something like this. You can maybe do one of these. And then, oops. Oh, are you kidding me? I dropped it at the very end. But as you can see, that's already doing a crazy amount of damage. There wasn't too much damage being added on at the end, but like, if you can still combo, why not? But that was what, like 11,000 damage? Completely meterless, by the way. We all know Inasa has meterless combos, but 11,000? Like, jeez. And like, a lot of that damage was done pretty early on in the combo. Like. After just like a few of the extra hits, we're already at like 10,000 here. If I just ended it there, it's already 11,000 and you don't have to do any of the hard stuff. Like he, he hits like a truck in this version, guys. Um, oh, also another change is his yellow attack actually only does one hit, but if you press the button twice, he will do that second hit, which is kind of handy because it makes it easier to do like this, um, you know, when you're doing two hits into that, into like the frisbee or something, or like this one, just makes it a little bit easier that way. But like. It doesn't really change that much. And I think it also might do a little bit more damage. Actually, I don't know about that. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically Inasa. He just does a bit more damage. And a bit more damage for Inasa is already crazy, because he does a ton of damage by default. So being able to do a little bit more damage by adding in a yellow attack and adding some, you know, a little bit extra damage from the other things is uh, unnecessary, but, you know, I'll take it. See, look, that was at over 11,000, 11,500 damage combo, zero dash cancels. Actually, I think I accidentally dash cancelled, but you don't have to. But, uh, yeah, that's basically an awesome. Not much else changed. Unfortunately, he still has some problems, like, with his plus ultra one, where it doesn't hit at, like, a lot of, like, ranges you'll want it to hit. Like, if the opponent's slightly in the air, it kind of does, like, this weird thing where it, like, misses, and the opponent just falls out of it, which is kind of annoying. So, like, you can't even do it after his full attack string. Uh, actually, I think you can now. Because that cancels fast enough. Yeah. Oh no, yes, yeah, see, there's still the full out of thing, the full out thing, which is really annoying. So, really, the only way you can combo into his plus ultra one is off of, like, his, the first hit, first hit of his yellow attack. But, uh, yeah. Inasa is still a crazy character, obviously, in this version of the game. But, uh, he's just slightly more crazy and does a bit more damage. Um, I think another change may have been that his, um, yellow attack now sends the opponent flying even further. Like, it was already crazy, but now they just get sent, like, <laughs> as you can see, Bakugo is sent flying so much that he's just, like, waiting on that area that he can't get launched into the wall at, and said, oh my god, did that hit him from all over here? Jeez Louise, did you see that? So you can literally just do, like, from almost anywhere on the screen, no matter where you're getting a combo. If you're facing a wall, you do your yellow attack. Your opponent is going flying in there, basically. Okay, that was a little bit too far, but, like, seriously? No matter where you are, wall splat. Just to add a little bit more damage to- oops. To the already ridiculously damaging combos. Oh, it kinda sucks that they get stuck, at, like, there. Cause now it's, it's like a weird sideways combo, and I hope we don't fall onto the floor. I didn't even do all the extensions I could, but like 12,000 damage, and I didn't even extend it as much as I needed to. Like, what? This character's just crazy, and that's honestly that all he is. Like, he's still got all the same stuff he has, like with the charge up tornadoes and stuff, and the quick tornado. Like, 
He's the same character, and like with the crazy, I think his quirk to in the air is probably his best button. He's got this that does like a ton of damage and you can combo him super easily. Wait, does a ton of damage sometimes. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm complaining about you. How about you do a lot of damage? There we go. Like, boy, 12,000 zero dash cancels. Is that a little bit ridiculous? I don't care. It looks cool. I love that he has awesome combos. But yeah, honestly, that's literally all there is to talk about Inasa. He's the same, like, nutty, crazy character that he was before, with awesome combos and mutilous combos. And uh, now they're just slightly better. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's just watch this plus ultra 2. Wait, no, there's one more combo I want to show you. He can do stuff like this with um, the extended attack string in the air. So if I want to do something like this, I can add an extension that way. It really doesn't change too much. Like, you might get a slight bit extra damage, but I find it can screw it up depending on where the wall is. But, uh, yep. That's Inasa. Sorry this video was short, but there's just not too much to say. He's a crazy character with crazy combos and crazy damage. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.